Hey y'all. So uh, today I am running low on brown sugar and I'm out of powdered sugar. So I thought I'd show y'all how to make it. Very easy. We'll do the brown sugar first. You need a cup of granulated sugar and you need a tablespoon of molasses. open. All right, so I'm going to pour our sugar in the bowl. And this is uh, Grandma's Molasses. I just got this at the grocery store. Uh, you can use any kind, but I recommend you do not use blackstrap molasses. Not for this. And this is really this easy. You're just going to sit there and stir and stir and stir and stir until you have brown sugar. And if you want, now this will be light brown sugar. And if you need dark brown sugar, you add two tablespoons of molasses. And say you already have light brown sugar and you find a recipe that calls for dark brown sugar, just add a tablespoon of molasses to it and Keep, you know, mixing it up until it turns into dark brown sugar. And that's it. Put this in a uh, airtight container. And it'll last you just as long as, you know, any bag of brown sugar you can get at the store. It takes a minute, you know, to get it done. But as you can see, it's turning into brown sugar. So I won't make y'all watch this. Uh, I'll finish stirring this up and I'll be back. And there we go. You just keep stirring until you don't see any more molasses. Perfect brown sugar every time. If I had a dollar for every time I needed brown sugar, <laughs> I didn't know how easy it was to make up until a decade ago. Uh, well, I wouldn't be rich, but but it's that easy, and it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And like I said, if uh, your recipe, you know, you can use dark or light brown sugar in the recipe. If it calls for dark brown and all you have is light brown, you can use that. Uh, the darker it is, it just, it makes whatever you're making or baking darker, and it has a little bit richer flavor. Uh, but otherwise... You know, they're, they're always interchangeable. But like I said, if you have light brown sugar already and your recipe calls for dark brown sugar, just grab you a cup of it, add you another tablespoon of molasses, and stir it up until it's dark. And uh, this bottle of molasses, I think this is about, it's six or seven dollars. Uh, but I've had this bottle now for, I think since 2020. And this doesn't expire until uh, till 2024, so this will, you know, this will last you a long time. It's definitely worth it, instead of, you know, buying brown sugar all the time. But it's very easy to make. So next I'm going to show you how to make powdered sugar, and that's even easier. So let me put this away and get out uh, some more sugar, and I'll be right back. Now we're just going to spoon our sugar into this canister. And there we go, y'all. Now when I need uh, brown sugar today, 
I've already got it made. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm going to make a lot more than this, but just to show y'all, it's so easy to make. One cup granulated sugar, one tablespoon of molasses, and just stir it until it's brown sugar. All right, next up, powdered sugar. All right, yeah, now we're ready to make some powdered sugar. I can't get my tripod up far enough for this blender, but just to show y'all what I'm about to use, it's my blender. So to make powdered sugar, well, I mean, that'll come up some, but it's, it's just gonna fall over. I'm sorry, so I'm gonna push this back down. My phone is just too heavy for this thing. I'll get another one, y'all just bear with me, but for now, uh, you can see the bottom and that's all that really matters. So to make powdered sugar, if you're making this to store or if you're making it in bulk, for every one cup of granulated sugar, you need one tablespoon of cornstarch. The cornstarch's only purpose is to keep your powdered sugar from lumping up while it's you know, in your container for six months. That's the only purpose that it serves. Now, if you're like me and you just right now need some powdered sugar, I'm not worried about the lumps, so I'm not going to use any cornstarch. I'm just going to pour in a half a cup of granulated sugar. And, and also remember that however much regular sugar you use, you're going to get double the volume for powdered sugar. So, if you need one cup of powdered sugar, if you're only making a small amount, then you only want a half a cup of granulated sugar. It will always be double. So, y'all remember that. One cup of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of cornstarch will give you two cups of powdered sugar. Now, let me see if I can get the lid off. Ugh, okay. I hate to use this giant thing, but for that little bit of sugar, but... When I get some, uh, I have to get some more cornstarch, I'm out. Or otherwise, I'd go ahead and make a, a big bulk of this, too. And now, if you don't mind the lumps, you know, just get your granulated sugar, pour it in your blender or a food processor, and just make as much as you want. And then, if you, when you need your powdered sugar, all you need to do is run it through a sift, you know, just sift it, and the lumps will come right back out. But, if you don't have to go through all that, just make sure you combine every cup of granulated sugar with a tablespoon of cornstarch. So here we go. Ooh, smoky. All right, we definitely aren't there. Oh, this is loud. I wish I knew how to mute my phone so y'all wouldn't have to listen to this. Almost there. That should be enough. Let's see. You just want to keep blending it, y'all, until you get the consistency that you want. It's smoky. Sorry. It's powdery. Like I said, you can use a, few, a food processor if you prefer, but I honestly think the blender works best. And there you go. Perfectly powdered sugar. I'm going to make a glaze with this, so all I'm going to do is mix some milk with it and make my glaze, but... Uh, as soon as I get some cornstarch, I will make a bunch of this to put back in my container.
But like I said, you know, for today, I'm not worried about it clumping up because I'm going to use it here in the next hour. But it's that easy to make powdered sugar. So there y'all go. Powdered sugar and brown sugar. Two very, very, very easy things to make that uh, I wished I'd have known decades sooner. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon.